Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to be doing a head and I'm going to show you all my little tricks and how I do it all in Maya. Um, I was sitting here trying to figure out who should I model and I kind of want to do Chrétien, Jean Chrétien, I want to kind of do William Shatner and I then I started thinking I should do the thing where basically you do what you know and I thought about doing a former student I started thinking about it going well you know what I'm going to do I'm going to go in here. I'm going to think I'm going to do Toma. Toma Gropi, who is another 3D modeling instructor. He'll love this. First thing we should ask is permission. Let's go and zip up here. He's not a friend of mine on Facebook. My God. And this guy is. Uh-oh. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'll... Let's go in here. Uh, let's invite friends. And how the hell do I find this? I don't know his email. Okay, how about... Let's go and hit a search. Gropey. Boop. I'll ask permission before I do this. Oh, look. Actually, there's a lot of gropies. Gropies. Um, <laughs> Send Toma a message. Please be my friend. <laughs> I will make you famous. <laughs> okay, good enough. That's sent. Because I happen to have some funny pictures of Toma. Let's see what have I got. Let's go and take... Oh, I don't want to bring those into my... I want to go into Photoshop. Okay, let's just take a look at what I got to start off with. I do believe these are... No, are those the right ones? Let's hope that's nothing embarrassing, otherwise I'll have to start over again. They don't really... Oh, yes, 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 okay. And we don't need the back shot. Nah, that's a good side shot. There we go. And he's looking too happy on that one. Let's get rid of that. So what do we got? We got side shot, we got a three-quarter shot, and we got a front shot. Okay, awesome. What do we got? 232. So basically this first one here, I'm just going to quickly try and set these up the way that I would set them up in, in uh, Photoshop, getting ready for putting it into Maya. And let's see, I'm just going to quickly go in here, and uh, what are we doing? I'm looking for new. And we'll start these off as like 2K textures. Two, zero, four, eight. They're just reference pictures, but you never know. And I hate this feature of Photoshop. <laughs> I know I can turn it off, but I'm just lazy. Okay, um, let's go and throw this in here. Okay, and actually it looks like it's going to be honking huge. Um, let's go and bring in a three-quarter shot. And I got this one. Oh, and I can't tell because it's locked onto the back. Okay, so it's this one that I want. This one here is the three-quarter shot. Let's get rid of that. Okay, and let's just dump that into this thing as well. Great, let's get rid of that. Um, okay, so these things are going to be quite large. I'm probably gonna, I probably could have gone for the 1K size texture, and I think I might. Uh, what happens if I go in here and I hit... Bastard. Um, image. Let's take the canvas size and make that 1K. Oh. Bastard! Not paying attention. Proceed. And does that cut off everything? Of course not. Okay, great. There, 1K is much better. Okay, and what I want to do first off is just quickly kind of set these up so they're kind of lined up. And typically what I'll do is let's go in and find this one first and get on the grid. And I'm just going to line this up and keep an eyeball on the eyes, the nose, make sure everything's kind of in the middle best I can. Still going to be a little bit off here and there, but whatever, we just need something like this. And that's great. Uh, I'm just going to go in cut out the back side of this thing so let's go and use the quick selection wand 
And what is this thing on? Do I have some stupid setting on? Okay, let's go back to my good old magic wand. There we go. And control X. Let's get rid of that. <coughs> I could clean up that hair, but I'm not going to spend the time. Okay, so that one's good. And then let's go and do the side shot. Trim out some stuff. And oh, I got some more stuff to trim out. Good enough. No, 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 I'm going to get fussy about this too. Okay, great. And I'm just going to make sure that my photos are kind of roughly the right size in here. Let's just drag down the opacity a little bit so I can kind of see. And where's that funny eyes there? The nose is there. Sometimes you'd notice that uh, people, when you're taking pictures of them, their, their head, they tend to put their nose up in the air a little bit when they're doing their side view. And when they're looking straight at you, this kind of can be straight on and the nose can sometimes be tilting down a little bit. Actually, Toma, I think I caught him and he's fine overall. And I'm going to say that's good enough. Okay, and I'm just going to place that one here. Anything else I want to get rid of? Control X. Okay. And let's just bring that opacity back up to 100%. Okay, great. And then the final one I'll do is the three-quarter shot. Uh, this shot here isn't so much important in the setup as it is later on when... Uh, we start, well, when we're finishing the model. Typically, I find this is most important when, oh, crap, when you're finishing up the model. Yeah, let's get rid of this. Okay, and this head seems a little bit small. I'm just going to measure it off of uh, the front face here. And actually it doesn't all, it looks all really good I think I think everything's gonna be fine let's just go and bring down the opacity and see if I get the eyes lined up okay and and looking at the mouth looking at the eyes they more or less line up a little bit off here and there whatever that'll be fine let's bring the opacity back up okay and let's get rid of that. Okay, so the first of my little crazy tricks. Uh, when I go in here and I'm making these images and I'm setting them all up, I am going to uh, set up, a, well, actually maybe first I just set up a folder. Let's go and quickly go file, project, new, and I'm going to call this one Doma, and this one's going to go to my projects and settings. Okay, right. Uh, use defaults and I'll accept. Okay, and so when I'm making this stuff, it's we got a brand new folder in here. I suspect why it's not updating. Boop. And where am I over here? Uh oh, was I not paying attention? Is it showing up? God damn it! Um, didn't show up. Well. Just hold on a second. I'm going to pause this and figure Okay, it's fixed. Um, <clears throat> so, now, uh, just going to go back here into Maya, and I'm just going to quickly set up these images over here in Photoshop. Are we already at... Oh, fuck, I'm already at eight minutes. Uh, we'll save these, and then I'm going to bring them into Maya. That's what I'll do. Um, so this one here, I just basically... What I'll, I'll do is go in here and uh, quickly get my crazy lasso out. Duke, Duke or my magic wand. I'm going to go here into channels and I'm going to go and say I want a new channel Boop. and I'll say it's an alpha channel and here on the alpha channel I'm just going to go in here and get rid of that stuff and black and white image black is opaque and white is transparent oh is that the other way around? It's the other way around and I just hit control I and that'll there we go so that's my mask and I'm going to go and take this I'm going to go crap I hate that uh, file and where am I? save as and I'm going to save this into my documents, my projects. And we're going to go here to Ma. Come on. Source images. And this one will be Doma front. And I'm going to make that a targa file. Okay. And I'm going to do the same trick for each one of these images that I'm uh, making. I want to have it 32 bit. Okay. And so that's going to be the end of the first little movie is me just setting up my alpha channels and I have like three images I'm going to use. And I'm going to stop this.